Hello, everybody. This is Devin. We're going to do some uh, Surgeon Simulator today. I decided that I was going to work on some games tonight, but uh, I didn't really feel like it at the moment. So we're going to play some games for a little bit instead, and I figured since I haven't uploaded a video in a while, I, uh, I'd make a little something something. Um, this is Surgeon Simulator. You're a surgeon. Um, that's about all there is to it. And basically the whole thing about this game is control each of the fingers and the thumb and try to operate on people like that. It's like Quap. That's what I figure it is. I was never very good at Quap, now that I think of it. Okay, so you can have that over your face. Um, let's see, can I remember how to do this? Drugs, real quick. Screw up the bone saw. Um, uh, this is not gonna go well. Come on, come on. Hey, uh, uh, hey. Hey, I can. Oh boy, this is good. Okay, no need for Pinky. We're going in. Well, it's not gonna end well. You know, a lot of ways this game makes sense, and then there are a lot of ways it doesn't. First of all, um, cutting the bones off someone to get a third heart for a transplant, I could see that actually being true. Me being able to do this in real life, not a chance. Come on. Nerf anyone. If you've played this game, I'd love to hear your scores. I mean, this is... It's one of the most interesting games I've ever played. It's... Casual, I'd say. I mean, I'm sure you can do this hardcore, like, competitively. Even. But, I see it as more of a casual game. Oh boy, we're gonna need to inject this guy with some drugs. Because I'm a moron, and I dropped my saw. There's my green bile thing. Bile. <laughs> We're gonna have him puke. Come on, pick up the stupid ticket. There we go. I'm inject him in the face. Oh, let's grab that again. Inject him in there. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Alright, uh, the, 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 the. Yeah. uh, we only got a little bit left to go. Come on, open up, open up, open up. Okay, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. I remember when I first saw the data for this, I, I thought it was going to be absolutely awful, honestly. I not really well, actually. I accidentally picked up some lips. Some green junk, inject him again because he's dying like he always is. He's a total wuss. Grab his, not his ribs. Don't grab his ribs, I'm on his legs. Come on. Did I not cut off enough for him? There we go. Ribs just exploding everywhere. This is reminding me a lot of Dwarf Fortress right now. Um. I should really play some more of that for you guys. It's not the most popular game, but it's kind of gaining popularity, I guess. I mean, there's that article in the New York Times, and your watch should not fall into a patient's chest cavity. It's probably a bad thing. Come on! Ugh, more bones. Come on! Is that no? No. Okay. Um there. More. If 
I remember right, the sharp part is actually what works in this situation. I think it's programmed to be default the buzz saw or something sharp like that. I can probably that out now. Ow, I'm sorry. Um, da, 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 da. Who needs lungs? It occurs to me he probably wouldn't have a heartbeat at all if he had no lungs. But you know what? That's fine, because I'm just gonna put this on your face. We're gonna call it. Um Oh yeah. I remember. Uh next we gotta cut the stump cow. By no means a pro, obviously. Okay, oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Angle it. for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>